sexy for this chain. Too sexy for your game. Too sexy for this chain. Hey everybody, babies and welcome back if you're new here welcome to my channel in today's video you guys i'm showing y'all how i did this thumbnail which is like a dark theme type of thumbnail and i did it based on like a self-care night routine so first things first i went through pinterest and i found this picture this picture and this picture so i wanted something that didn't really show anybody's face of course it'll be different for you so before i get into it the two apps that you'll need for this thumbnail is fonto and pixart so for pixart that's how you're going to get the grid and for fonto that's how you're going to put the words once you choose your three photos or how many other photos that you want to do i just did three you're going to go to pixart and you're going to press the plus sign down here and you're going to scroll down to collages and pick this one and you're going to choose your pictures so i chose the bath the girl and the food and i'm just going to swipe through to find the type of grid that i want and this was the one that i went with exit all this stuff out so once i chose my layout i'm gonna go to ratio at the bottom which is this here and scroll all the way to the end and click youtube and that's going to basically measure it to fit like a YouTube thumbnail. Once I do that, I'm going to choose border. And I'm going to take the thickness all the way down. Because I don't want none of the white lines or anything. So to make this look as realistic as possible, I just slid a few pictures over. I made this one bigger because this was like someone's Instagram story. And then I kept this one the same. But I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. So now I'm going to save it. So by saving it, you just press this right here. And then now I'm going to go into my photos. And I'm going to swipe all the way down to choose that picture. And once I chose my picture, I'm going to do edit at the top. And I'm going to click the second one, which is exposure. And I normally take it down to 50. That doesn't make it too dark, but it makes it, you know, dark. But I also like it at 100 because that just gives off more of an aesthetic. So you can choose if you want to do 50 or 100. But I always do 100. I mean, I always do 50. Because I don't want it to be too dark. So 50 is like perfect to me. And then I press done. And it's saved like that in my photos. So then I'll go into Fonto. I click the camera at the bottom. And then I click photo album. And I choose that photo that we just did. And I press done at the top. And then this is when I just add my wording. So I'm going to type anywhere. Add text. And I'm going to type self care night routine. So this was an old font that I ended up using. So to change the font, you just go to font right here. And it'll normally probably click on this, like it'll start off on this one. And these are like the free fonts and stuff that you can use. I always use this one. So I'm going to go to that one and it's going to be like this. Press done. I take it to the middle of the photo. And then I just move it over as much as I feel like it. But I just do it so that way like everything, it looks like it's like dead in the middle. So, yeah, do that. I'm going to take it down, move it down a little bit, move it over. And then now I'm going to click the words again, go to style. And then I'm going to take this to about 50. Yeah, I want it just like that. And then, well, no, let's take it up a little bit more. It looks a little too dark. Let's take it to 70 maybe. Yeah, let's do 70 yeah that looks good so then i'm gonna click anywhere again press add text and type the same thing but in lowercase letters and i'm going to click font again because i want to change the font to like a cursive font and this is what i used so it looks like that and i'm going to put it like directly under it but of course move it to make it like directly in the middle and I'm gonna click it again press style and I'm gonna take this back up to 100 and then I'm going to go to style at the top 
go to well it's already on shadow but I'm gonna click this one the second a basically that's it and then press done sometimes I also add like so I'll go back to style and sometimes I add stroke and make it black and I take it down to like a thin black so like maybe like three just so that way it can stand out a little bit more but sometimes it looks off and sometimes it doesn't it just depends on what you do so this is what's so right now the stroke is on two so I'm gonna leave it on two and I'm gonna move it down a little bit just so that way you can see it a little more move it over And that's basically how I got it. So then that's when I'm going to go to this little box down here. And press save image. Okay. Close it out. Go back to my photos. Swipe over. And there it is. Cute. Simple. Not doing too much. Got the dark theme in there. Really aesthetically pleasing. And yeah. Quick and easy. Literally probably five minutes at the most. But yeah, so I just decided to share that with you guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Make sure that you like, comment, subscribe. Make sure that you come back for more videos. And when you come back, make sure you bring a friend. Period. Because we lit. Always. And yeah, I'm going to see you on my next video.